Before installing this mount, please make sure you read the manual thoroughly. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 3 16th inch drill bit for wood stud installations, a half inch wrench or socket, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the part sent directly to you. Step 1. Attach the wall plate to the wall. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, visit the SANUS website at www.sanus.com and locate the height finder tool on the left side of the home page. Simply enter your TV and mount information and height finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. Please note, for safe installation, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark a stud. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking three hole locations with a pencil. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. After you have verified the stud location, drill three holes with the 3 16th inch drill bit to a depth of two and a half inches. Attach the wall plate using the three lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step two. Optional, attach the adapter brackets to the mounting plate. TVs with mounting holes spaced 300 by 200, 300 by 300, or 400 by 300 millimeters apart will need to attach the provided adapter brackets to the front of the mounting plate. To install, align the screws on each adapter bracket with the outermost holes on the monitor plate and secure them using the corresponding nuts. Step three. Attach the monitor plate to the back of your TV. First, determine the diameter of the screw your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with spacers or they could crack the monitor case. Step 3-1. Attach the monitor plate to a TV with a flat back. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the monitor plate, and finally into the TV. Step 3-2. Attach the monitor plate to a TV with a curved back or an obstruction. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate washer and the monitor plate. Add a spacer between the monitor plate and the television. Step 4. Attach the TV and arm assembly to the wall plate. Please note, before proceeding, verify that the wall plate and monitor brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television, respectively. Orient the arm assembly so the arm extends directly away from the television and the transfer plate is parallel with the TV. With the help of an assistant, lift the arm assembly and hook the transfer plate over the tab on top of the wall plate. Gently let the bottom of the transfer plate settle against the wall plate. Step 5. Install a safety bolt to the wall plate. Thread a safety bolt into the hole on the bottom of the transfer plate and tighten with a Phillips screwdriver. Step 6. Install the preventer. Make sure to watch for pinch points. 
Do not put your hands or fingers between movable parts. Determine which direction you want the arm to fold and place the preventer on that side of the arm assembly. For example, if you want the mount to fold to the left, place the preventer on the left side. Position the preventer so the flat side is facing the extension arm. Then insert the preventer bolts into the holes in the arm and tighten with an Allen key. Step 7. Install the cable management system. Thread the cable tie into the cable clip, then insert both into the hole at the base of the extension arm. Extend the TV out from the wall, making sure to leave some slack in the cables so there is no added tension on the connectors. You can attach cable ties to any holes in the sides of the monitor brackets, or to cable tie clips, which can be pressed into the underside of the pillow block as shown. Thread the cable tie into the cable clip, then insert the clip into the hole at the base of the extension arm. Route your TV cables along the top of the extension arm, leaving enough slack to prevent stretching when the arm is moved. Secure cables in place with the cable tie. Do not run cables through a pinch point. Step 8. Adjust the TV level. If your TV does not appear perfectly level after mounting, use an Allen wrench to loosen the bolts on the head of the arm assembly. Using a level, Roll the TV clockwise or counterclockwise until it is square with its surroundings. Then re-tighten the bolts to secure the TV in place. Step 8-1. Adjust the left and right swivel tension. Caution! To avoid potential injuries or property damage, remove the safety bracket only to adjust the swivel tension nut. Be sure to replace the safety bracket after adjusting the swivel tension nut. When in place, the hex hole in the safety bracket must be seated over the swivel tension nut. Remove the safety bracket from the top of the extension arm by sliding it upward. Using the hex hole on the flat surface as a wrench, tighten or loosen the swivel tension nut on the top of the extension arm until you reach your desired swivel tension. Then replace the safety bracket. Step 8-2. Adjust the up and down tilt tension. To adjust the up and down tilt tension, tighten or loosen the knobs on the head of the arm assembly. Step 8-3. Adjust the arm extend and retract tension. Caution! To avoid potential injuries or property damage, do not remove the bottom adjustment nuts completely. Tighten or loosen them only as necessary for easy arm adjustment. The top nuts should never need adjustment. To adjust the extend and retract tension, use a wrench to tighten or loosen the adjustment nuts located on the bottom of the arm joint and at the base of the arm. You are now free to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in this Sanus Vision Mount Flat Panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.